death penalty for my sin. I believe. Please. Save me from my sin. I'm sorry for not judging you. I'm sorry. Swear what you want, Jake. You're mine. Forever. Luke chapter 12, verse 4. And I say unto you, my friends, be not afraid of them that kill the body, and after that have no more that they can do. But I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. Fear him which after he hath killed hath power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. Shalom. We want to give all praise and glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Peace, mercy, and blessings be abound to brothers and sisters throughout the four corners of the earth that are diligently waiting on the coming of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Today, we are doing a lesson concerning the controversial topic about hell. And the reason why we're doing this is because we understand that brothers and sisters have been told for uh, decades, uh, going back uh, probably as far as one West, that there is no hell meaning the place of eternal judgment and we're here to basically you know beyond the shadow of a doubt according to the scriptures prove by uh, the word that there is an eternal judgment that we have to be warned about and that's the reason why Yahweh Shai um, our Lord and Savior has proclaimed these things um, not only in his own words during his time but also throughout the scriptures uh, through various men uh, prophets, apostles, and men of the Lord uh, throughout the generations. So being that the end is coming upon us soon, mm -hmm. it's very important that brothers and sisters have a uh, righteous fear of the Lord and to have a good understanding of the times that we're in and what really at stake, uh, which is basically the salvation of your souls. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're going to go ahead and continue on in the rest of the uh, lesson. This is the second Ezra 9 and 11. And they that loathed my law, while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it, the same must know it after death by pain. So there's a repercussion for certain things that you do in this lifetime, whether it be good or bad. And in this instance, if you loathe the law of the Most High, while you yet had that liberty and you repent not, there is a punishment for that. And as the scripture said in verse 12, you will know it after death by pain. Book of St. Mark, chapter nine and verse 43. And if thy hand offend thee, cut it off. It is better for thee to enter into life maimed than having two hands to go into hell into the fire that never shall be quenched, where their worm dieth not, and the fire is not quenched. So we see this is this is a place where it's, it's going to be a continuing uh, burning, a continuing fire that's going you know going to be consistent. Verse forty-five, and if thy foot offend thee, cut it off. It is better for thee to enter halt into life than having two feet to be cast into hell, into the fire that never shall be quenched, where their worm dieth not, and the fire is not quenched. And if thy eye offend thee, pluck it out. And if it is better for thee to enter into the kingdom of God with one eye than having two eyes to be cast into hell fire, where their worm dieth not, and their fire is not quenched. This is Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus, chapter 7, verse 17. Humble thy soul greatly, for vengeance of the ungodly is fire and worm, which basically is uh, what the brother was saying earlier. So we see here that the brother brought out in red letter what Yahweh Shai said in Mark 9, and it's basically going exactly, you know, same thing that's going on in Sirach, in Sirach 7 and 17. Mm -hmm. Let's precept that also with Isaiah 66 and 24. And they shall go forth and look upon the carcass of men that have transgressed against me. For their worm shall not die, neither shall their fire be quenched. 
and they shall be an abhorring unto all flesh. So we see from precept upon precept how the scriptures are lining up to give us the understanding of what this is pertaining to. Second Peter chapter three, verse seven. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. That particular scripture, not only does it go with what the, what the brother brought up earlier, but it goes in with the uh, Sirach 7 and 17, where it says that the judgment or the vengeance of the ungodly is fire and worms. Right. So this is linking up with the, all the prophets, all the apostles, mm -hmm. all the wise men mm -hmm. of our nation are all saying the same thing at different times concerning the judgment of the ungodly of Israel. That's right. And, and that's what we want to make sure we preface that, that this is referring to that particular judgment, which will, of course, in other lessons, we'll get further on into. Mm -hmm. This is Judith chapter 16 and verse 17. Woe to the nations that rise up against my kindred. The Lord Almighty will take vengeance of them in the day of judgment in putting fire and worms in their flesh and they shall feel them and weep forever. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is part of the judgment. The children of Israel that did not believe will receive the judgment of fire and worms forever. So with that, we want to go ahead and close out this lesson and give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Peace and blessings to a uh, hopeful elect throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom. 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 Thank <laughs> you.